Hey guys. I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. What should we say? What, how should we get it? <laughs> Do we want to start with hi? What's, What's up, up everyone? everyone? Hello. Jingle, 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 jingle. Boom, boom, boom. Or whatever. Do you know that this isn't coming out? Uh, it does come out before Christmas. Yeah. 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 This is the w- last one before Christmas. That's why. I, yeah. yeah. I, I know it doesn't come out on mm-hmm. Christmas. You want to hear something holly jolly? Yeah, I do. Okay. So uh, it was Thursday, yesterday. Uh-huh. Okay. I made myself a coffee in this in this mug that I'm using. Oh. It's our, uh, I don't know, dick about shit mug. <laughs> and... For whatever reason, I decided to be so fucking extra. Mm. And I don't know if it's my ADHD or if it's my trauma where I just, I see her. I'm ignoring her. Birdie is being an absolute menace. (laughs) She also escaped on Tuesday. Oh, good. And was almost hit by a car four times. (gasps) Different cars. Wasn't the same. It was like a very persistent car. (laughs) Go here, you. Okay. I was going to say. <laughs> Birdie, this is what he's allowed to do this. I'll pause because this is a good story. Okay. But the hitting that. the car one? No, or the not, the car. Yeah, like, not the car. Not the car. The coffee car. story. Okay. <laughs> no, the, co- the almost getting hit by a car story uh, was incredibly traumatic because... <laughs> I was both days, Tuesday and Thursday, we were watching my nephew Manny. So Mm. like we couldn't, we had an extra toddler. We couldn't leave necessarily because I didn't have another car seat. And um, so Shane was running, trying to get her. And obviously when you are witnessing your dog almost be murdered. Yeah. Like anyway, trauma. So did I tell you all three of mine got out the other day? No. Oh my God. Winston, sorry, I'm hijacking no, your fine. story for just two seconds. Winston, good, good boy. He, he's my first boy, my most loyal boy. I found, I ran around the house. He was on my swing. <laughs> <laughs> Swinging, looked at me from the porch. I was like, you sweet, sweet boy, get in the house. I love you so much. The other two <laughs> just went off on a field day, but they are both so obsessed with food that I just had to shake their shit around for a little bit mm-hmm. and they came running back to me. I was so scared though because it yeah. was a nighttime and there was a small hole where our fence is. We got it fixed now, so... Mm-hmm. But I I don't know how they squeeze through it. I'm yeah. shocked. And they must have seen. They don't typically do that. So I'm wondering if an animal came in and then ran out you that way. You got lots of cats. You got That's hella true. Cats. There are a lot of cats in my neighborhood. I bet you they went after one. But yeah, the other two were not far away. That was right. the only good thing is they got out. And then I think they were like, well, what should we do now? <laughs> how well, are we going to get food? <laughs> when Birdie takes off. Yeah, she goes. She gallops. Yeah. Like, Mine her, don't. her back legs, like, cannot get to her front legs fast <laughs> enough. It is the most bizarre thing to watch. Yeah. I'm, her oh. nose is to the ground and she's tracking. And I'm like, you don't know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's very instinctual for her. Anyway, yeah. back to my coffee. Got it. So, I don't know if it's because I um, like to create chaos because that's my norm. Home, home base. Yeah. <laughs> sure. So I've got three toddlers Mm -hmm. running around the house and I decide I want to cut out a Christmas tree from a post-it and I want to I want to put it over my coffee and I want to get some cinnamon and some chai powder and I want to put a Christmas tree so cute onto my coffee. You, just, you were being extra for no for no one. You were just no doing that one. for yourself. I just wanted to see if I could. Okay. So then There's when I did. two types of people. <laughs> well, and I didn't do, there was too much distance between the post-it and mm. the milk foam. Mm-hmm. And so it was, it was kind of um, muddied. Sure. It was, it was kind of blurry. So then I got the back of a matchstick and I dragged in <laughs> the bubbles a little bit to define the, the tree. Okay. So fucking cute. And then you I was like, it. you know did what? Did you take a picture? Okay. That's where we're going. <laughs> That's where we're going. Oh. So I decide I want to take a picture of this. Well, why not? I just got these new candlestick holders, okay, mm-hmm. and these tall candles, and I'm like, this looks so fucking cozy. Yeah. I've got my my Christmas tree powdered coffee. <laughs> I've got my candlesticks, and I've got this like very trendy 
um, Christmas tree, like tabletop Christmas tree next to it. Yeah. I try to take the picture, but for whatever reason, the angle is not giving me what I need. Yeah. Okay. And if there's one thing about my forest, okay, it's if there's a candle, he's going to blow it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he's on the couch and I'm done taking this picture. Yeah. And he's he wants to blow it out. And I'm like, go ahead, buddy. You can blow it out. Well, oh, no. <laughs> I walk over to the Christmas tree to, you know, get a second option yes. for a photo. Okay. Until I hear, uh oh, <laughs> I turn around and Manny had grabbed the table to steady himself <gasps> so he could blow out a candle, knocked the candle over into the tabletop Christmas tree, which was made basically out of sticks. <laughs> and it immediately is engulfed in flames. <gasps> this tabletop <laughs> Christmas tree is, Wait, that is not <laughs> on fire. <laughs> I go, oh my God, oh my God. I run over, grab the tree by its base, which is not yet in flames. Right. And I start running over to the sink, but it is catching Fast. Yeah, it's it's kind, kindling? <laughs> kindling. Yeah, it, it, 100% it's made of straw, oh okay? And I am starting to, like, feel the heat on my arm, and I go, oh, no. And I, it's your sister's, so <laughs> we can clean it. Merry Christmas, Taylor. <laughs> We're going to show you guys this after my story. Hold on. I toss this Christmas tree that's on fire oh. onto the floor. And I make sure I toss it onto the wood floor and not onto the rug that, because yeah. I'm not trying to get the rug on Flammable. fire. And then I dump my coffee on it. <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't, oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> so I never got to drink this coffee. Never had a or single. take a picture. I did get a. Oh, you got one. I did. And you guys can see. I'll put it in the video here for you to see the tree that caught on fire. Um, yeah, none that's of these are fault. alive anymore. <laughs> this is all my bad. That was my, my fucking bad. <laughs> that was such a stupid thing for me to do. I. I have had my kids, I've had those candles lit several times. Yeah. I've had my kids blow them out. Not an issue. That tree has been there for the whole month. <laughs> yeah. It just takes one time. Yeah. You know, yep. just one time. And That's anyway. Like that time with Ollie in your hair. <laughs> it is. It is. Just clockwork. I know. Well, that's what it is. And that's, I'm, I'm just a super anxious person. So those moments, <laughs> in my anxiety. mind, <laughs> in my mind, those are always going to happen. Yeah. It's not like they could. It's like, when will they? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the coffee did not put out the fire. So I had to run. <laughs> <You're joking. laughs> you know, it was still very much on fire. So I ran to the sink. And luckily, we didn't do the dishes from the oh. night before, but we did have water in a pan, okay, like that, in a pot. Sh that's the best. You let them soak. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I picked it up and dumped that onto the tree. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was able to pick it up and put it in the sink. Jesus so, Christ. <laughs> now I'll tell you, it is. it was made out of like actual wood. Oh my so God. So the house smelled great. Yeah. I was like, you remember when we used to have a fireplace? <laughs> this is what it would smell like. <laughs> yeah. I was just really. And then Manny, <laughs> Manny looks at me. My nephew is um, like, Four or five months younger than Forrest. Yes, not quite, not two yet. Yeah, almost two. He'll be two in January. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> he goes, "What fire do? <laughs> what fire do?" And I was like, "I gotta tell Sam <laughs> because if he goes, <laughs> if he goes home and starts talking about a fucking fire at my house, <laughs> I gotta get ahead of this." And tell oh, her yeah. what happened. If it would have happened in front of my daughter, no chance. She doesn't <laughs> she doesn't know the sign for that. Yet. Yes. <laughs> Which by the way, some people a lot of people were telling me mm -hmm. that I could teach her sign language. Thank you. And I am. Um she just also the thing is it's not even that uh it's hard for me to communicate with her. It's more about she just is very flingy. <laughs> flingy? Very flingy floppy. <laughs> like it's a mom, gross motor thing. My mom goes, I held her, she smacked me in the face twice, like with her head. Like <laughs> yes. she was just so excited to see my mom that she was like, Can't get closer. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna be inside. She head butted her twice because my mom was like, I listen to your podcast. I see what you're talking about. <laughs> She's beating the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, so, that's good yeah. stuff. She did she did sign more. I got it on camera today. I it was saw. really cute. She's she's get that's her favorite. She gets she's very good mm. at that. But the rest are 
slow coming. Forrest did that one as well. Um, and then even when he learned to say the word more, He's he would do the sign. And then when I like wouldn't notice because I knew he could talk, yeah. Um, he would like yell at me <laughs> because like I wasn't getting it. Pay attention. I know that's my bad as well. That's funny. I did have that's another funny. story that I told you I was going to tell you on the podcast. This happened on Monday. I have been waiting for this. This fucking story. Okay, because she called me. You were at a coffee shop. Uh-huh. You're like, uh-huh. I got to tell you what happened. You know what? I'm going to save it for the podcast. <laughs> I was like that. You got me so excited, and then you were like, "Actually, wait a week." Bye. I was like, <laughs> "Okay." So. I had my third post-op appointment on Monday. Typically, Mondays are the days that I edit the podcast, um, which is a a ballsy move on my part since it comes out on Tuesday. (laughs) But I woke up and I said, Shane, I'm going to go and work at a coffee shop and then just go to my appointment straight from there. And he's like, cool. I arrive at the coffee shop. Mind you, I had just switched my phone um sunday night so i switched Mm, from yes my old iphone to my new iphone sunday night monday i go to the coffee shop i go to purchase my coffee and realize i don't have my wallet Mm. and i'm like you do you guys have apple pay and she's like we do and i'm like fucking dope yeah because i have apple pay yeah and so i go to use it and it's like you aren't authorized to use this card you have to put in the pin to Mm. activate it and Mm -hmm. i'm like it was already activated but because i switched phones it needed to be reactivated well shane didn't send me the code Mm. in time and so because it went to his cell phone so it had expired Mm. and the only way to um get it activated was to call Huntington. Yeah. So I call Huntington. Mind you, I'm holding my coffee this entire time because they've made it by this point. What are they going to do? Throw, dump it in front of you? Yeah. (laughs) You can't pay. Goodbye. Uh So I stand. I'm standing over the side trying to get this situated, and I call this lady, and she's like, "Can I have your last name and social?" And so I'm like, "Okay, my social is five. (laughs) No. (laughs) Um, So I give her my information, and she's like, "Okay, can you (laughs) ver?" (laughs) <laughs> Can you verify um, a recent deposit or withdrawal? And I'm like, sure, let me just open my app. So I go to open my Huntington app and it won't open. Because you're on a call. Maybe. I think so. Yeah. I think it was because I wasn't connected to the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. So it won't open. And I'm like, I can't open the app, but I know that at the beginning of the month, I pay my windows. And she goes, <laughs> you send money to your window? <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> I was like so fucking angry. I was like, no, I have a loan for my windows that I pay. At should the say be- window loan. <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning of every month. And she goes, well, who has the loan? And I'm like, I don't know. I just know that it's saved in my bill pay. And I just know that that's the window one. And I send it there. And she's like, can you verify anything else? And I'm like, I don't know. Every week I get a deposit of this amount. Yeah. And she's like, okay, there we go. That works. <gasps> and then she's like, so what's the card? What's the last four digits of the card that you're trying to activate? And I tell her. And she's like, is this your card? And I'm like, no, it's my husband's <laughs> card. <laughs> and she goes, are you even on that account? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I should be. <laughs> we she goes, are married. <laughs> she goes, I can't f- activate someone else's card on your phone. And I'm like... Well, can you just send me another pin <laughs> so I can put it in? And she's like, you can have him call and we can do it oh that way. And God. I'm like, this is already taken <laughs> entirely too much time. So then I'm trying to call Shane to get him to just read me a card from my wallet right. so I could put it in my Apple Pay. And as I'm doing that... Uh, <laughs> Some woman who was watching me struggle for so long was like, I'm going to buy her coffee. Oh, that's so, so nice. I know. So she bought my coffee and I was like, I will be fucking damned. I cannot accept Give anything. Give me your name, your address. <laughs> good for anyone. So I ended up getting a card synced up to my Apple Pay and I walked up and I said, I'd like to buy a gift card for $100, please. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> and she goes, a hundred dollars. So I was like, actually- I want you to pay for everyone who comes in here until this card is empty. And she's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> my six dollar coffee <laughs> turned into a hundred dollar coffee. <laughs> no, you got to pay it forward. I and I did. I've been doing that. My mom is like, Sierra, you have to stop. And I was like, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> really pay for that pay for that hmm, how much you pay <laughs> season of giving what are you gonna do mm-hmm. you gotta do it i feel like that's what i always wanted to be able to do yeah. i just couldn't so. i just was like was so angry that this woman made me feel stupid about paying my windows <laughs> You send you, money to your window. <laughs> yeah, he's he's literally bri- he's <laughs> bribing, blackmailing me. He's he is busting bl- my balls for this money. That window is blackmailing me. He sees me naked every day. He's I'm sorry. Did I say my window? I meant my widow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> And that's why I'm struggling to get this pin sent to me to the underworld. <laughs> because it is under my husband's account. I died <laughs> six years ago. But I'd like a fucking coffee. <laughs> also, boo. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the story I was waiting to tell that you. That was good. <laughs> good story. It got me all heated. Oh, that didn't even end there. I forgot. Oh, okay. So. After that, you bought I'm... everyone in the world a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I own coffee. <laughs> no, I went. You get a coffee. You get. Coffee. I went. I went to my appointment, and then afterwards, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself mm-hmm. to some pulp. You might as well. I'm gonna go get a smoothie, and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store, and I'm gonna grocery shop. Yeah, because I have a vendetta against Shane because he. <laughs> Was on his stream, and I just happened to pop in at the time where he was like, yeah, I'm the cook in the house. And when Jerry goes grocery shopping, she kind of just gets like, I get stuff for meals. And I'm like, what the fuck do I get then? (laughs) What are you eating? What do you want to eat? Fucking snackies? (laughs) Jerry comes back and she's got dog food. (laughs) You're like, what? Kibble. We feed the children kibble (laughs) when Jerry shops. (laughs) I was like, excuse me? <laughs> what the fuck? I can just see your face. Retro- record? What's happening? <laughs> Recognizing? Record scratch. Oh, like, re- 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 <laughs> pardon? Sorry. Anyway, so I'm like, I'm going to go to the grocery store and get food. For I meals. <laughs> yeah, for a whole meal. <laughs> uh, anyway, so what I go forget, there. like butter and shit? What is it? <laughs> it doesn't take a lot to make a meal. I don't. No, right, I don't on. know. I'm sorry. So I f- I'm fucking loading this cart up, mm-hmm. okay? I'm making sure we have meals for every <laughs> part of the day, okay? <laughs> and then I go to check out. Rings it up. She's like, Cards this, is- <laughs> this is how much your fucking groceries are. Do you want to use your $30 Giant Eagle perks? And I was like, no, I'll save it for the next time. <laughs> and then I... Put the card in, and it's like, beep, 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 not authorized. And I'm like, I just used it to buy coffee (laughs) for everyone and a smoothie. What do you mean I'm not authorized? (laughs) And uh, what I didn't know is uh, an alert was being sent to Shane's phone. It was like, is it okay for Some lady is trying to fucking steal from you, my guy. So, but he wasn't noticing it. Wait, so your money gets deposited into an account that your name's not even on? No, we transfer it. Uh, I say get that out of my account and put it in in a saving. It's our family bills one got it but yeah i guess my name is not on it <laughs> that is upset yeah yeah we'll be we'll be fixing that business <laughs> I, well, I would be. <laughs> yeah so <laughs> i had to stand there and fucking wait for him to bring me the lady she was just doing her job god bless her because the people behind me as well had a check and it wasn't signed and uh. the name on the giant eagle card didn't match mm. the check and they were like we can't do anything about this right. and so then they're like what the fuck great amazing <laughs> so i'm standing there and she goes uh i suggest if you have the card trying to use that instead of apple pay and i'm like do you really think that if i had the card <laughs> that, that i'd be trying to pay this? with my cell phone <laughs> i would not i would not be trying to like 
oh my make God. some kind of a dis like a display of <laughs> technological <laughs> advancement. <laughs> I would use the card. That's anyway. very funny. I only I I should have Apple Pay now, but I just I haven't set anything up because I'm afraid that I'll use it fucking everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so because of that. But I do have Starbucks, so I a yep. lot of times I'll leave my house and not even bring a wallet because I'm like, and then I'll be yes. like in line for something and be like, Ugh, I get a moment <laughs> where literally I get like a <laughs> body <laughs> shock, like <laughs> <laughs> my body takes a screenshot, <laughs> and then I'm just like, fuck, yeah. how do? And then you got to pull up, and I have to be like, hello, I have no money, <laughs> so actually. I would have backed out, but there were four cars behind me. So if you'll just <laughs> let me go on about my way. Sometimes, sometimes if that happens, I'll just order it on DoorDash real quick and select <laughs> pick up and be like, I'm here. Is it ready? That's so smart. I know. Wow. Tip I got the dick. The, I got it. Tip of the dick. Oh, sorry. That's a for better and worse thing. I, I li- they had a podcast episode come out today. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. I'm going to have to do that next time. Yeah. Um. Hey, guys, we got a blanket. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I forgot about it until I just reached out. Hey, f- uh, friends, it's Christmas is going to happen soon. So what are you going to do about it, punk? <laughs> <laughs> you should get this blanket replica. This is what it looks like. I'll tell you right now, it feels much better than the <laughs> art blanket. <laughs> it does feel much better. It's so, so fucking soft. It so is. This is- if you want a really comfy, cozy blanket to watch us with that looks like our blanket, that's and it does have. have our logo in the corner. And ladies and tangents. This right one is for uh, This is for my sister. This is for Taylor. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Taylor. Yeah. Remember when you were here last time and you were like, what's up with this dirty blanket? <laughs> <laughs> what do you wash this? Well, you can wash this probably as soon as you get it because I did spill beer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And Mosby has been napping on it. So apologies yeah. and Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you excited for like anything for Christmas? I don't think I have excitement about it. <laughs> See, I I was thinking about it this morning. No, I think is, that I do have as an adult, I'm so focused on what I'm getting everyone else. Yeah, that when people ask me what I want, I'm like nothing. Please don't because give me anything. I know how stressful it is yes. to think about gifts. I don't yes. want. I want to give you the gift of not stressing about my gift. Literally, Corey's so mom called us and she was like, what do you guys want? And before I could even say anything, Corey was like, don't get us anything. I'm not even mm-hmm. kidding, please. And she goes, can you imagine that? And I said, we're all just sitting around and she's handing the presents out. And she's like, none for Corey and Sierra. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was so awkward. I but truly, it. Like, get me t- a t- for Corey. I just bought him tickets. I bought him two yeah. tickets, one to a comedy show, one to a concert that I know he's going to want. Boom. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Happy birthday. <laughs> Yeah, happy birthday. I I don't we have our house is so small. I can't fit any more things mm-hmm. in it. It's just yeah. it's just uh yeah, but I'm excited. I'm not excited for the amount that I know is going to probably be f- I got to get all this stuff out yeah. for things that are coming in. But then I think I'll be excited. Did I buy my kids bumper cars? Yes, <laughs> I did. I did not buy. Well, for one of Noah's Christmas presents, I'm redoing his room. So that's mm-hmm. what I was doing all day to day. And he's got like, he wanted a bean bake chair. He wanted a disco ball. He wanted a popcorn machine. <laughs> and I said, done. <laughs> so Say I, less. I got him a lava lamp. <laughs> I, got him. I fucking love so lava lamps. A couple Pokemon posters, a new bed set. That's cool. Because, because he's kind of, he hasn't had like new things in his room since he was like five what's it's funny so... is you said lava lamp and i remembered one of my sisters was asking me about what to get shane and i was like he likes lava lamps <laughs> <laughs> and the last one we had broke so because <laughs> i would get you get <laughs> <laughs> yeah he might want another lava lamp oh. that's really funny lava yeah. lamps are fucking cool well no i love them i was just looking on amazon and i was scrolling for stuff and i saw these bumper cars and i was like can we fuck around and get a bumper car? Because like as of now, we don't park our cars in the garage because there's like just stuff that we are donating or cleaning out. Right. That's in there. And my sister told me that someone got her son. So my nephew also is getting a bumper car sent to him. And oh. I'm like, let's get all three of those kids <laughs> in that garage in the bumper cars. <laughs> that's going to be so fun. I bet it would be funny. This is going to go down as like their best Christmas ever. It's never happening again. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this for is sure. Just, mommy, mommy got excited yeah. because you guys are like. Um, Can know what presents yeah, are. Yeah. yeah this yeah. is the first time. Because even Sawyer, she just, 
to be fair, I started rapping shit she already has. <laughs> She's just I did excited that. to open things. I did that. She is not... Because we went shopping for some stuff, and I got her books and stuff, and she was reading them in the cart. She yeah. was putting everything in her mouth before we bought it. So I was like, well, I guess these are yours now. And I'm just going to wrap them whenever, yeah. whatever. And I barely got her a lot, so she's going to get some. Like I said, she's got so much shit, and she's going to get so much more. And to be fair, she doesn't care about right. the things she got. She just wants to She wants to be part of the unwrapping. Oh, so I can't wait for next year when truly, she's like excited about things. All of this stuff is for me. <laughs> it's feeding my my um need of like Christmas. Yeah. Because Ollie, what he asked for was traffic cones. Cool. Like <laughs> might be illegal. <laughs> uh I think he he more so wants um like the athletic cones, like the ones that they use to oh, do drills and stuff. Yeah. But he calls them traffic cones. So he wanted traffic cones. Forrest wanted a lawnmower. And it's a kid's lawnmower, <laughs> right. and we already own it. <laughs> so I'm like, um, <laughs> you get a bumper car. You're gonna get a bumper car. <laughs> so I hope strap you in, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's. Fun. Am I gonna ride in the bumper car? I knew you would. Sure, shit. Are I we will. gonna record something with us two doing it? Might no, as well. I'm scared. I'm gonna break some, like Might my well. back. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably really small. I know. They're probably not even going to be like functional. Dude, well, they definitely can't go fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if they're for, if your nephew's getting what he's not even to. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. See what he can handle. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. Speaking of the holidays. Okay. Um, We're going to be doing, is it Am I the Assholes? It's holiday yeah, stories. Yeah, holiday. We're, we wanted to do something holiday themed. Um. Mm-hmm. And so we also just were like, what the fuck? Life's beating the shit out of us yeah. a little bit. And by us, I mean me. I literally <laughs> almost had a house fire yesterday. Okay. <laughs> and so also her. So she was like, why don't we just do some Reddit Am I the Asshole Holiday Edition? And I found so many. Good. And I was just looking through the titles, but I haven't read them, read them. So oh, cool, I felt cool. like it could be also an, a blind going in Reaction like we did last kind of time. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like... Um, we all have stories similar to this, mm. and uh, we nothing I love more than giving my two cents on it. On oh, this someone is, else's stuff. Yes, but this is what I will fucking say. Shh, be nice to me about it because yeah. this is strictly my opinion. It doesn't mean I'm shaming. It doesn't mean I hate you. If you do the <laughs> thing, there was somebody, by the way, because we talked about X, and I said mine was like sitting on the same side. Mm-hmm. I, I meant for like dating X, like if I'm dating a guy, because someone was like, oh, me and my husband do that. So I guess we'll be going out to dinner with Jerry, not here. And I was like, well, are you trying to date me? Because if you're not, I don't give a fuck what you do. You do that all day. That's fine. Yeah. I just, I'm talking about people. You guys can sit next to each other while we sit on the other side of the booth. That's fine. Like, yeah. I just mean like if I'm on a date and there, there's an uh, empty side, <laughs> get the, f- I use my elbows a lot when i eat and talk <laughs> get yeah. on that side yeah i don't want to i don't want to strain my neck looking at you no, the whole time i have a conversation a big thing is because sometimes i like to sit at bars but that drives me nuts I'm you know sitting what it at is this and like it's because we already struggle with eye contact yes. and now i have to like <laughs> try to look at you while i'm eating imagine no i can't horrific yeah okay. so if you're in front of me i have no choice but to look at you <laughs> yeah that makes it easier mm-hmm. to pretend like i am <laughs> Okay, here we go. Hold on. My sock isn't normal because, you know, there is a a very clear place for a heel. Mm. And if it's not in the right spot, man, fuming, I'll lose my absolute shit. Yeah, I feel that. Okay, here we go. Am I the asshole for telling my husband I'd rather nobody use my holiday booking out of spite? I don't know what that means. What's a booking? Well, we're going to find out. My 23 female... My, oh, my 23, 23 female. Got it. Husband is a 27 male. Got okay. it. Okay. So my husband and I have been together for five years, married for three. Got it. We're both athletic people, or at least I used to be. So we've been planning a holiday for the past year. So they without... got married when she was 20? I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. That's young. Yes. And they've been together since she was 18. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, We've been planning a holiday for the past year. Maybe this is not... The kind of holiday. Uh, this seems, <laughs> seems like a vacation. <laughs> this seems like a UK holiday. Okay, we're going <laughs> to skip that one. <laughs> Sorry. I forget that in the UK, a holiday is like a vacation. Yeah. We which I started saying, by the way, and everybody's like, oh, you're going 
for a holiday and i was like no like when i book a vacation they're like yeah. that's a vacation i'm like holidays who do cooler. you think you are that's you fine. posh bitch <laughs> so, a lot of these are for <laughs> okay i found one i found one this is about thanksgiving okay but i feel like it goes with yeah. the theme Am I the asshole for telling my partner his holiday, Thanksgiving, is not important to me and not celebrating it? <laughs> I'm going to go with, for, before we even read, Okay, what's your immediate? Read yeah. the title one more time. Yes. Am I the asshole for telling my partner his holiday, Thanksgiving, is not important to me and not, I'm not celebrating? No. I, I think yes. <laughs> I would... I would say if you're going to like, I think telling him it's not important is like whatever, but not celebrating it—that's kind of Thanksgiving. Yeah. What if she's indigenous? She's English. That's okay. the first line. But I understand that part. But if it's also like, it if she's English, well, we'll say. Hold on, they don't have it there either. Well, okay. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm English living in the U.S. whilst I finish my university course. As soon as I've finished, I plan on going home. My boyfriend has always said he'll come with me, especially because we're expecting a baby. Mm. I want the baby to grow up where I grew up, more countryside, etc. So in about another two years. Ooh, damn, that's 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 interesting. I'm seven and a half months pregnant, about as emotional as ever. His family is huge on Thanksgiving. We've only been together for one, and it was nightmarish. First, I couldn't really eat much since everything had meat in it, although that's weirdly common here. <laughs> and they poked fun at my accent the whole time. Okay, that would piss me off. Yeah. I've spoken to him and them. <sighs> to be fair, Americans are idiots. <laughs> True. And we do that too. We don't poke fun. We just think they're exciting. And <laughs> I want to I want to talk like that. So, yeah. And maybe some well, people take I guess that as I don't know what poking fun means. Yeah. Because I think they could take what we do as poking fun while we try to try to do it. No, I just I'm really trying to embody it. Yeah. I'd also like to say, because this is repeating over and over again in my head. You don't have to be indigenous to dislike Thanksgiving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I don't want to say that, like, indigenous people are the only kind of people who could have some kind of frustration or mm -hmm. anger or whatever distaste towards Thanksgiving. Yeah. That's not reserved for any group of pers persons. Yeah. I've spoken to him and them, said I don't appreciate the jabs, but it got ignored. It's gotten even worse during pregnancy. I offered to bring food so I can eat and got told not to be difficult. I asked him if they could cook something. I asked him to ask if they'd cook something, but once again got called difficult and fussy. The teasing has actually gotten worse during pregnancy. I've said to them I'd be fine staying here and living here in permanent housing, but my boyfriend, the one I'm apparently moving against his will, according to their comments, is insistent that we move back to my home. God damn this long. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to go this year, but as we're planning on moving back to my home in two years, my partner says I should make sacrifices like he is. I'm not just refusing. It's not important to me as it is to him. And obviously he's upset, claims I've not tried to settle here, etc. And that his family have been welcoming and that's important that it's important to him. Maybe I haven't tried to settle. I love the heat because we don't get that at home half the time, but I miss the community that my area offered. I did say we do roasts every Sunday, which is basically the same thing, but better, which was a joke and that I don't feel while pregnant like spending the day being poked fun of and not being able to eat. Am I the asshole? Since I've already... Oh, nope. That was... This is, must be the comments because people said since I've already offended a bunch of people here. People were offended by that? I think because they said by saying meat is weirdly common here because again americans guys stop it meat is weirdly common here <laughs> like it's fine yeah. but some places it's not and like that's not rude saying that Someone saying it is weirdly common here. It is weirdly common here. We well, eat meat think, a lot. I think that saying something is the way that I interpret weirdly common is something that's like out of the norm to me. Yes. Yeah. Something that's not normal to me that is very normal here. Yes. And that's not something I'm used to. Yeah. I don't think that I'm not offended by that. No. And I don't think this person's an asshole. I don't think so either. Now I've changed my mind. Because yeah. the thing that drives me most nuts about any kind of holiday gatherings or whatever, if you're with somebody, and I understand it being difficult if you're taking them around your family, and maybe your family pokes fun, but if you can see your partner being uncomfortable by mm -hmm. things your family have said, and especially if they say to you, I'm uncomfortable, have your partner's back for fuck's especially sake. Especially if Jesus you're having Christ. a child together. Yeah, and if you're forcing them to come to your family's gathering, 
the least you can do while bringing them around people that they don't feel comfortable with is having their back if they're doing things that make them uncomfortable. Right. I can't fucking stand that when I see it. Especially, like, knowing that they're going to have a child Mm -hmm. and his family is already speaking to her in that way. What what kind of message is that going to send to the kids? Because that baby's probably going to speak like that. Well, even if they don't speak like that, what kind of message does it send if the family is poking fun or belittling the mom and the dad doesn't stand up yep. for her. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yucky. So and it forces her to do something that she's out yeah, of her comfort it's, zone. It's just a dynamic. It's a recipe because it's for disaster important for him. Right. And I also, totally get being family oriented and like that being something <laughs> that's important to you, but at the same time your partner should feel comfortable in those settings. Right. If they don't, then that's something you got to work on together. It shouldn't be like and I didn't, other, I, I didn't guess. like the whole um the the jab about like you haven't even tried to settle here and you need to sacrifice because I'm sacrificing moving. Yeah. Because to me, that just feels like he's keeping score. And of it's some always going to be that. Yes. I watched like a beautiful interview with Michelle Obama. God, mm-hmm. I love her. And uh, it was very much about like how when she was with Obama in the early days, mm-hmm. well, like they've been together for 30 years, but she's like, we had 10 years where it was like roller coaster, like up and down, not good. And it's like when our kids were young, because at that point you don't mean to, but you're like, how many fucking diapers have you changed? <laughs> like yeah. that thing. It's very much like, so she was just talking about like not keeping score and having to remember like, even when I don't like you, do I respect you? Um, do I care about you as a person? Same yeah. kind of thing. Like if your family, do you respect your partner? Back them the fuck up. Yep. You have to. Because this is something that I have learned in therapy. Your, the child's mom, if, especially if you're in a relationship with her and your child, that's your family. Yeah. If yes. your biological family is being disrespectful to your family, yeah. that's a problem. Yes. Boundaries need to be set yep. and you need to back your family. your family. That's your family now. Right. Like your immediate family. Yes. Okay. Next one. Where are we going on holiday? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like every other one. Am I the asshole for not wanting to spend the holidays with my sick mother-in-law? Okay. Immediately because of 20, this was in, oh, this was only 58 days ago. So. Okay. I was going to say if it was sick pre. Mean? Sick as in like, oh, <clears throat> or sick as in like. <laughs> <laughs> I backed her at first. I wish I would have read more. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So off the, <laughs> off the jump, you're saying not the asshole? I think you are the asshole. Wait, no, no, the no. Off the no. jump, I'll say not. Off the jump, you said not. Yeah. <laughs> but then you read the first sentence and you regretted it. <laughs> it okay. My mother-in-law was diagnosed with terminal cancer Ooh. last year. <laughs> I know. I'm not laughing because that's funny. I'm laughing because I, not in a million years that I think that's what it meant when they said <laughs> they sick. said sick. I was just like, is she have COVID? Yeah, you definitely should be. Was like, Don't go she, to her house. Is she sick as in like freaking dope sick? Is she <laughs> sick as in like twisted? Or I, I never thought sick as in terminal. Yeah. Okay. Eesh. We were told that it was very serious and we should make the most of our remaining time with her. My husband and I live a 12 hours drive away from it. Is this bitch going to be like, they said she was going to (laughs) die and she didn't. So, hold on. Oh, God. I don't know. My husband and I live a 12 hour drive away from mother in law and father in law since the diagnosis. We've spent every vacation and holiday with them. We either fly or we have to drive as we can't find anyone to babysit our cats. Your cats, <laughs> your cats will be okay. Leave them some food and water. Cats are really independent. <laughs> Get the babysit. Just have someone check in on them every <laughs> once in a while. I thought I was going to say babysit our kids and you hit me with cats. Come on. <laughs> In total, we have spent over a month and a half and thousands of dollars visiting them this year. She is dying. <laughs> oh, my God. While I know that it's important to support my husband as much as I can, I'm starting to spiral. We don't ever really get a relaxing break. We've not been able to save as much as we can, and I've started to feel depressed about the lack of control over my life right now. Okay, that's valid. <laughs> it's but also, so valid. But also, I don't want to be like some people have it worse, but she is dying. There are people dying, dying. Kim. <laughs> yeah. 
With the upcoming Christmas holidays, I discussed the idea of me visiting my parents, who I haven't seen in six months, while my husband visited his own. My husband was very upset and kept telling me that this could be his mom's last Christmas with us and that I was being selfish. He told me that his dad was looking forward to me being there and that it would seem like I don't want to spend time with them. I feel guilty that I'm not being a supportive wife, but I also feel justified in wanting to see my own family and enjoy a relaxing holiday for the first time in over a year. Am I the asshole? And then edited for info. This says, for clarification, the doctor... (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Jesus. For clarification, the doctor asked if she wanted to know how long she had left. She didn't want to know, and neither did my father-in-law. We don't know if it's months or years. Unfortunately, compromising would be difficult for visiting both as our parents live on opposite ends of the country. That is tricky. That is tricky. I know when I'm to having the a end, lot of, I know I'm having a lot of feelings. I'm having a lot of feelings. I don't I don't like that the argument was um this could be my mom's last Christmas. This could be any of our last That's Christmas. Very you know what I mean? That's very like, true. That's very true. I I understand your mom has a diagnosis so that brings her mortality uh, you know to like, the surface a little yeah, bit more. But how do we know that one of her parents isn't going to be in an accident yeah or yes you know, that's I so know. true we didn't know when my aunt's last christmas was going to be her last right. christmas and i didn't go it see her literally was the last it literally <laughs> i didn't go see her that night the night before she died was christmas eve mm-hmm. and and they wanted uh, our family to go and my mom was like no because we'll see them tomorrow now is that something now that my mom thinks about and regrets all the time a hundred percent because she went for her husband's family instead right at the time did she know that that was going to happen? No. And I don't think that she should be shamed then or now for making the decision to. It, that's a tough. To, either way, that yes. is a tough decision. As a child from divorced parents who has literally my entire life had to pick and choose who to go to, like whose yeah. house to go to for what holiday mm-hmm. my whole life. There's always been at least one that overlaps that I have to pick. OK, I'm going to miss out here. Or I have to leave early from here. It fucking sucks making that decision. And it's never an easy one. So I think I don't blame her for being like, hey, I would like to see my parents. We've had we've because- spent so much time and money going and in, in creating memories with yes. your mom. I I want to be with my family. Mm-hmm. And like that's I don't think she's an asshole for that. I don't either. Ooh, the my, circumstances are my first one was right. <laughs> the circumstances are ah. No, they're tough. They're tough, but it is it's exactly what you said. Let's say she goes and um her parents die that next New right. Year's or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? You literally don't know. It could mm-hmm. happen at any time. And so it's like you can't live your life thinking that all the time even if you know even Mm -hmm. if you're like i know this is going to happen within the year that can't be i don't know i just think that you can't make your whole life revolved around that because it will start driving you like she's spiraling and i believe that because that's something that i've had a a very few amount of people in my life that have had like a terminal diagnosis and it is constantly in the back of your mind but at the same time and I've talked to numerous people and read numerous like books on uh, psychology and things where people feel a sense of relief then because yes. it's almost like the pressure's off because there's so much pressure building mm-hmm. up to like make those moments count mm-hmm. that then it's like, oh, I can go back to living normal life. Yes. So, yeah. And it's also hard to center your memories, like your final memories with that person mm. around Every single one potentially being the last. Yeah, definitely. You know, that's that's heavy. That's a lot. That is. Um, so yeah, I don't think she's an asshole. That's just either. a shitty fucking situation. That's a bad situation. And I think I don't think that the the husband's an asshole I don't either, either because he's that's a really fucking hard place for him to be in because he's grieving his mom while she's still here. Yes, which again we've both done with people. Unfortunately, had right. to do is like grieving the fact that you're losing someone while they're still alive is right. Very and, very hard. And, like, he wants the support of his partner, which is totally understandable. But she needs a break, which is also valid. Yeah. Duality (laughs) is my favorite word. That's the thing. all the time. When you yell at us, two things can be the same at the same time. (laughs) Two things can be true. (laughs) Please stop yelling. (laughs) Because the thing is, neither one of us will know what the right Right. decision was until it's already been made. Mm Mm-hmm. And then maybe even then it might not be the right decision. Yeah. So no assholes. No. Nobody has an asshole. No assholes all around. <laughs> um, okay, this is kind of the same thing. 
Okay, let's do this one because that was kind of another in law situation. Okay. So we'll switch it up. Am I the asshole if I take a vacation week during the holidays, even though I'm just a single guy? I'm going to say already no, but yeah, no. There's always, it's, it's always like there's some shit. So at my work, we're coming up on picking vacation times. There's about 60 people. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's yes, around yes, the yes, ho- yes, 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 yes. 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 And he's a it. single guy. No kid. Yeah. Okay. There's about 60 people on the shift and only four of them can be off due to a vacation day on any particular day. That's because there's a wide variety of tasks and you have to leave room for call offs and people on leave and such. To determine who picks first, we use a lottery system. You get one slip of paper for each year you've worked there and it all goes into a giant rotating bucket and then the order is drawn. Interesting. Okay. The So it kind of gives you seniority, but at the same time, yes, you, it's because like I know certain people's work is like totally seniority based right. and that kind of fucking sucks for people then that just got a job there that's like oh yeah. i can't get any days that i want off because it's they've already all been picked over yes and and normally the people who have seniority have the most flexibility and and the most vacation times yes. like built up so they're just fucking going on trip yeah. trip trip anyways the lottery system is new it used to be picked simply in order of seniority but people complained because the same people would get the same holidays every year for many years in a row well i happen to be to get a very good spot in the first round even though i've only been working there a few years i normally don't care for the holidays that much as my family is small and we don't celebrate that much but my close childhood friends have told me about this trip they have in the works it'd be a big reunion of our whole group dudes who live far away and i haven't seen in years it could be really good for my mental health the trip would be over new year's so i'd be taking off thursday december 28th 2023 through thursday january 4th 2024 for my five vacation days of the first round the Next first year yeah oh yeah you most places you have to put in your vacation time like a fucking year in advance it's Corey always had to do that okay you had to pick like and then he would be like when do you think we'll go on vacation i was like to be fair homie i don't even know if we're gonna last so <laughs> that was in the <laughs> yeah. early times i was yeah. like I, wow, I don't bold of you to ask that <laughs> all right we gotta it's putting a lot of pressure on this this is fairly new but okay yeah. i guess march <laughs> might be safe <laughs> right um okay the first wouldn't count as a vacation day, but instead as a federal holiday. The problem is the older, more senior employees are extremely pissed. I think you all know what I'm going to say. <laughs> they feel as if your their seniority is not being respected. Because fuck them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> this also comes from... <laughs> This also comes months after the company raised the minimum wage to $20 from 15 So the older employees got an extra 3% raise, but they still felt bad. New employees came in making as much as they took years oh, to build up to. fucking who? I didn't get it, so you shouldn't get it either. You bought your house for a nickel. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> relax. Stop it. You quit it right now. How much do you have to pay in student loans? Mm, oh. Okay. <laughs> fuck out of here so they started taking it out on me by guilt tripping me that older people with families need that week of christmas off to be with their family and since i'm single and a newer employee i should give up those days i fucking hate that as a person with kids i fucking hate when people with kids have to be like but i have kids and you're Mm -hmm. single so my life matters more than yours or whatever it's like would i be frustrated just because you have kids doesn't mean that your time matters any more than this person's Would I be frustrated? Yes, but yeah. it wouldn't be the person's fault. It would no. be the company's fault 100%. for not making sure that Enough everyone people can take off if yeah. they need to. Yeah. Um, or without making com- accommodations for me. Yes. So that I could do that. Uh, yeah, but it's not my coworkers' problem. No. Um, like my mom's work, they're giving everybody the week between Christmas and New Year's off. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. I feel like a lot of places should do that. Mm-hmm. You should be mad that your company is not giving you holiday time off yep. because why? W- that's. Ugh, I bet you they make enough money. I don't know this company. I'm just saying, if you're corporate, bitch, you mm-hmm. make enough. Okay, you got them deep daddy pockets. <laughs> we already know. I felt too bad trying to justify a trip to my friends against an old person trying to see his family, but this trip isn't just any trip either. It would be a true connection, so I'm torn if I'm the asshole if I don't give up those days. First of all, who's to say that the people you're going to see are as important as that person's family? Yeah. Like, just because you're not blood-related to somebody doesn't mean that you don't deserve to go be able to see them and spend time with them. Like, I don't give a fuck about that. That's weird (laughs) to me. That's weird to be like... 
this is my blood relative, so I need to go see him. I actually hate being in the same room with this person. <laughs> but I have to go. But we do share a last name, <laughs> so... My time with them means more than your time with you these people that might be saving your life, as you're saying. You should not be allowed to have fun if I would prefer to go be miserable. <laughs> Right. Okay. No, I think you're definitely not the asshole. And I hope that you, I want to see an update because I hope he took it. That upsets me. me too. That really upsets me. Um, and seniority and things, I, I understand that. But I just hate people who think because they're entitled. Yeah, to, to more things because they're married, because they have a house, because they have a better job, because they have kids. It's like mm -hmm. because society tells me I did it right, I get more and better than you. Yeah. Fuck out of here. I yeah. hate that. It, and it's not even like that guy did anything out of like protocol mm -hmm. he just happened to get a better pull that's not you his didn't problem sneak, you didn't sneak anything you right. just got you got the lottery would that's you what it say is. that if another person who is because the they same, wouldn't be thinking about you that's what i'm saying would if you had someone who had equal or more seniority to you who had a family got that pull and took those days would you be throwing a fit mm -hmm. no yeah. It's just because you don't agree with this person's lifestyle or where they are in life or how young they are yeah, that I you want to throw these bold fucking words around. Mm -mm. No, no, not the asshole. Not the asshole. <laughs> All right. Am I the asshole for telling my parents I won't spend the holidays with them this year unless they properly apologize and pay me back for canceling on me last minute last year? Ooh. <laughs> immediate response i'm gonna say no but we'll we'll see what's asshole's a strong word yeah i feel like perhaps i don't know it feels a bit <laughs> um <laughs> feels like a strong arm and i'm a yeah, bit yeah um kind of tiptoeing on the line of see? bribery yeah but could be just a boundary could could be. I don't know Forcing the difference between a boundary and, and manipulation. <laughs> I know. <laughs> is my issue. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Let's okay, see. okay. This story requ requires a lot of background information. Well, you're fucking telling us. <laughs> Around this... Oh, this was 19 days ago. Cool. Oh, cool. Um, fresh. I love it. <laughs> Around this time last year, my parents asked me if I wanted to come over for Christmas. So this is cool. This is kind of like for these holidays. Yeah. I love it. I told them, sure, I live abroad, so I don't see them very often. The plan was for me. Okay, so living abroad. abroad. Mm, different country. The plan was for me to arrive December 22nd and go back on January 7th. Our relationship was very rocky when I was a child due to my dad's mental health and anger issues, but he's in therapy for that now. I'm in therapy as well for the diagnosed PTSD. PTSD that his his issues have given me. This will be relevant later. I bought myself a round trip, a round trip train ticket. That is fucking tough to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one hundred and fifty dollars for the long ride home. So it's not like it's probably like UK ish area. Maybe yeah, that would be my guess. Somewhere you don't have to fly. Got my ticket for the long uh -huh. way ride. <laughs> Two bottles of whiskey for the way. Hey, okay. Uh. And I have really bad plane anxiety. Okay. Around December 15th, my mom called and asked me if I could bring home some of those cookies that she loves. And I tell her, of course. I decided to get them on the 21st, so they're still super fresh upon arrival. I also bought some breads and sweets for my siblings. The total came down to about $40. I'm a student. Uh-oh. I don't know. You're losing me. I'm a student, and due to my chronic illness and heart condition, I can't work a lot, so money is tight, and I had to take some money out of my savings for this to afford all of it. But I didn't mind. Sounds like you did. <laughs> <laughs> Fast forward to the evening of the 21st. I'm on the phone with my dad telling him that I got the cookies mom asked for and that I have to get up at 7 to get to the train station and that I'm super excited to see them again. Out of nowhere, he tells me that that won't be necessary because he and my mom are leaving for some island in the Caribbean the next day. <laughs> Your face. That was such a good reaction. <laughs> um, well... I've had that happen to us yes, before. Yes. Shane and I have driven to like two hours. And I know that maybe that's not far for people, but like we were young and didn't yeah. have very much money. And we drove two hours to go get dinner with someone. With these gas prices. <laughs> Hello. And we reached out to him. We were like, hey, so where were you thinking about dinner? We're in the area. Just just let us know. And he's like, oh, I'm in New York snowmobiling. <laughs> He invited us. What, what do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. 
Oh my God. I asked him how long they've been planning this for and he told me they decided it two days prior. So already knew he was coming in bringing mommy cookies. Yeah. And then just was like, actually, fuck those kids. <laughs> Let's go to the Caribbean. Yeah. Which like, I get that kind of... I asked him if they could cancel because I thought we had already established that I would be coming over and he says no. We were hoping you'd babysit the kids while we go. <laughs> <laughs> this was all a setup. He then says I should be more understanding because my mom has fibromyalgia and the cold makes her pain worse and the heat will make it better. That's fine, but, but why like, did you tell us? Yeah, and also let me know what, what can I be a part of that decision? That's all that I would yeah. say. Hey, let me just like call me and ask like, is this cool? I guess you don't have to ask for my permission, but like it would be cool to just be involved. If we already had an agreement yeah, that we were going like, to give me do a fucking something. Heads up. If you know that I'm making plans. Yeah. Because we chose a date and a time. Yeah. And you requested fucking treats. <laughs> Could you at least let me know that that's no longer plan A? Yeah, to the day you decided, baby. Yeah. After that, I called my mom, and I'm going to be honest here. I said some really unkind things, and I called her a selfish bitch, <laughs> among other things. Okay. For making me spend nearly fuck two Fuck your fibromyalgia. And fuck your cookies, bitch. <laughs> I got these sweet, sweet treats, and no one to eat them. Um... For spending, making me spend nearly $200 and having me go through all that effort only for them to cancel on me last minute. I demanded an apology and full payback of all the money. Apparently, that hurt her feelings and she hasn't talked to me all year. <gasps> yeah. My dad then called me and said that he had a talk with his therapist and that his therapist told me him to ignore my angry outburst what? and not give in to my demands because, quote, people with PTSD can't think rationally. Oh, that therapist needs fire. That therapist, that sounds like your dad's not getting the right therapy that he should yep, be getting. 100% Holy that therapist shit. needs to have their license. That is dad. fucked up. <laughs> this morning, I woke up to a text from my dad asking me if I want to come over for the holidays. No cancellations this time. I can't believe he said that. Pinky promise. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Can you bring those cookies out from last year? <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I put them into the ocean. I thought that they would ass. drift their way to you in the Caribbean. I told him to fuck off until they both apologized for canceling on me last year for the thing he said about my PTSD and to pay me back for last year. He refused to and gave me a written lecture that I'm just holding just a grudge and should get over it because it was, quote, a misunderstanding and, quote, we're family. But I absolutely refused to and I told him not to text me again unless it's an apology. Am I the asshole? How do you feel now? <laughs> um, I'll tell you right now. A lot of a lot of comments saying that dad needs a new therapist and that dad's therapist needs fired. So okay, at least we're right we said there. that. Um, I feel. I want to phrase this delicately. Mm. <laughs> so, based on what I heard about your family dynamics. And the communication in your family, I'm going to be pulling from some life experience here okay? <laughs> and say that I would assume that the relationships in your family are very transactional. Yes. And are very much... You gave me cookie, guy, you cookie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It, it's very... Um, That's a new girl thing also. I'm sorry. People are going to be like, what the fuck did she just say? Go on. If I did this for you, you, you owe me. It? Yes. Um, and so as much as I agree that it was shitty that your parents did that, I don't think it's going to make you feel better to have an apology and have more money. Yeah. Yes, in the moment, you might feel some kind of like victory or vindicated, um, but... Long term, I think that all that is going to do is reinforce the negative dynamic between you and your parents. Definitely. Um, I would just say if you don't want to go because of that, then that's totally valid. But for don't sure. understand that you're getting that apology. That apology is going to be not what you need it to be. I'll tell you that. Right. Because you're demanding it. Yes. So it's not going to they're going to say it to try to get you there if they want you there or if they think they'll get something out of you. So it, it, at the moment, you're going to be like, yeah, I got it. But, but long term, it's not going to be because they really fucking felt bad or they would have right. apologized to you a year ago. Right. They didn't speak to you for a year. Yeah. That to me, any parent 
who withholds communication from their child mm-hmm. as either a punishment Bingo. or to teach them a lesson. Yep. Um, that is so very telling to me yeah. of the parent because I I look at I look at my kids and if for whatever reason they didn't want to speak to me. Mm-hmm. I would be like, what have I done? Yes. What yeah. the fuck did I do to make you feel unsafe in yes. our relationship or you dislike like resent me for some reason yes. dislike our dynamic yes. yeah i couldn't imagine and it. i and and people by the way i think it's important to say this because i think people always think this like you shouldn't be your child's best friend blah, blah blah it's not even about that it's i saw a video the other day of a like gentle parenting thing which i mm-hmm. think some people get gentle parenting mixed up with like submissive parenting or like yeah. yes and that's not what it is it's just not the authoritarian parenting style that a lot of people have grown up like yeah. being used to but anyways this kid made a mistake spilled a drink all in the freezer right yep. and then comes over to the mom and the first thing she says is oh what happened here and it, he goes it looks like somebody spilled a drink <laughs> freezer she's like do you want to tell me who did it and he was like i did it and she was like you did and he was like yeah i did sorry and she was like that's okay but i need you to clean that up and he was like okay and his brother comes over and he goes i can help you so amazing it's like and the people in the comments were so telling because they were very much like oh my god I would have never done that i would have been terrified to tell my mom that it was me me and my brothers did this and we and it was like why if your kids are afraid to tell you something because they messed up because they made a genuine mistake or something like that, that to me is very, very telling. Yeah. Of, like you're not a safe person to be around. Right. And I also feel like if you, if you invite your child, whether adult or not, and they carve out time, energy, money in whatever way to, meet you yes well, either come halfway back to your or house. full way yeah. and you change the plans or you disregard them in some way it shows a huge lack of respect 100%. of them as a person and their time and their money yes yeah so and and then you don't care about how they feel afterwards yeah because there's this person has PTSD. Yes. They are probably feeling some sort of rejection. Yeah. They are battling to have a relationship with someone who is the reason that they have PTSD. Yep. So I think that's, I don't think they're an asshole for, for not wanting to, to go, go home. No, same. Um, but like I said, I don't think you're going to. It's not that you are get, an asshole either for wanting the apology and stuff. You're just not going to get, demanding it is not going to give you the results that you want, I don't yeah. think. And, uh, but I also think that that's a learned behavior. Yo, 100%. Asking for those things to prove some kind of loyalty, love, um, what's the word when you apologize? Remorse. Um, that's learned. Yes. So that that is maybe something to unpack in therapy. Obviously, mm-hmm. you're probably not listening to this episode, but... Um, if you are, I'm sorry. Your parents sound like they suck yeah. a little bit. Yeah, big time. That's a terrible. And, I hope and, your mom gets warm. Well, yeah. And the, the thing with the mom, too, though, is kind of like, mom wants cookies. Mom wants warmth. And like, that's fine. But yeah. it's basically like... Your, your mom needs. is above everything else. Mm-hmm. We cater to our needs. You come second to us. And like, I know so many family dynamics that work that way. Mm-hmm. Parents come first, and then we'll see about you. If you we have anything on. left <laughs> over. Yeah. And that's just like, and or people that put their kids above. I think that it should be everybody's, mm-hmm. like, as much as you can, equal for everybody in yeah. the, the household. No one's needs are more important yeah. than anyone else's. 100%. So I got to take breaks from my kids. <laughs> God damn. All right. Um, do we just want to do one more for this one? And then uh, we're going to do a second one. Um, a few more of these. Yeah. Or or play games. We don't know what we're yeah. doing yet. A little bit of some, some. We might get silly. We might do a couple more of these. Oh, we're definitely getting silly. <laughs> it's Patreon. If there's one thing we know. That's where we get silly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Patreon.com slash ladies and tangents. This is going to be for our... Um, Goose pimps? Yeah, and this will be right before Christmas, right? 24th? Mm-hmm. No, 23rd. 23rd. Yeah. Exciting. This will be the last exclusive of the year. <gasps> I know! 
excited for the goosebumps and the um almost our one year on patreon i know that's, that's coming in that's january crazy. right crazy yeah goose pimps and fuckable bunnies i yes. was like why can't i think of the middle one i kept <laughs> thinking sad bitches but i know that that's the first one um okay this one might be fucky i don't know how i'm gonna feel do you want to end on a fucky you don't have to end on that one you want to yeah we might as well i don't know where we're gonna go with it am okay. i the i think we might think this is they are the asshole okay and we haven't really we haven't yet. had an so, asshole <laughs> we haven't but right. right off the bat i'm like and i feel like i can speak on this and you'll see why okay am i the asshole for not letting my kids see their dad's family when it's my court ordered thanksgiving boo, 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 boo. yeah okay. yep yeah my ex and i alternate every thanksgiving which in a lot of people that don't know who don't have custody arrangements, things that like a lot of custody arrangements, that's how they are. That's mm -hmm. how my custody arrangement is with Noah. We alternate every holiday, at, like waking up on Christmas morning and things like mm -hmm. that. Mother's Day obviously is always with me. Father's Day is always with him. Things like right. that. Um, this year it is my holiday. My boyfriend and I have planned to have Thanksgiving with his family and friends this year and they are coming to our house. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. I would like my sons, 14 and 7, to spend the holiday with them and their little sister. However, my ex's sister and brother have kids, their cousins, that they are close to. The kids are bugging me to... Oh, fuck. The kids are bugging me to let them go over to their house after they spend some time with me so that they can go to their Thanksgiving because my boyfriend's family is boring and weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's in quotes. That is 100% how a teenager yep. and like a kid would describe it. Yep. Says which I find incredibly disrespectful. My boyfriend has been in their lives for two years now and we just moved in with him this year. That okay, means, well, is still... he, guess what? I don't think it's just, is his family fucking boring and weird? <laughs> yeah. I trust he, a seven-year-old? <laughs> for I sure. Trust that seven-year-old. All right. Uh, I don't get how long your boyfriend's been in his lives. Like. My teen in particular, yeah, and they just started living together. Okay, my teen in particular has been refusing to bond with my boyfriend. Told <laughs> Not me that everyone moves in with their boyfriend. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like that's so fucking weird. <laughs> Not everyone moves in with their boyfriend in like two weeks. All right, that was one time. <laughs> And you're going to marry him? Yeah. It worked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we just talked about that today too, actually. This is fucking funny to me, but I'm I th okay. My teen in particular has been refusing to bond with my boyfriend. Told me he, quote, looks like Jeffrey Dahmer. And, quote, his family is weird and a bunch of rednecks. <laughs> <laughs> my seven-year-old told me that my boyfriend's friends are also weird and ask him which qu weird questions. Like, quote, why does he have both a tablet and a Nintendo Switch? <laughs> My seven-year-old is fine with my boyfriend, though. My boyfriend is involved with the kids and watches them and takes them to school for me when I work. I'm mostly upset with my teen as he is being unfair to my boyfriend who has been trying hard to talk to him. He doesn't oh, owe I him anything. I don't like this at all. What did I fucking say about making your partner feel uncomfortable? That also applies to your children. Yes. Your partner, this is your boyfriend, not mm -hmm. their dad. And your so boyfriend. It's, this is your boyfriend. <laughs> Kifa. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like your kids are telling you they feel uncomfortable around these people and you're yes. demanding they be around them that i and hate the, them that. expressing the fact that they feel uncomfortable is disrespectful do yeah, you know what that is, teaches people yes that makes that puts them in danger okay yes, that i wouldn't be this this upset but y that is putting your children in danger yes Okay. Meanwhile, they love the shit out of my ex's girlfriend, so it's obviously not an issue of not liking significant others or their parents. She's probably fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. And I bet her family's cool. Like, that's, that's, you don't get to decide who they enjoy being who, with. Yes. Anyway, Thanksgiving is a time for family in mind, and they spent last years Thanksgiving with their dad's family and cousins. I told them no, they cannot go, and they are to spend the entire day with me and my boyfriend. Now my older son is throwing a fit and saying he is just going to his room and not come out. My younger son is fine. Am I the asshole? Yep. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> sure are. Sure you are. really are. You really, really are. You're trying to prove a point, and you are harming your children in, in the, the process. process. You are using your children right now in a battle between you and your ex, and it's gross. Please stop doing that. You're trying to establish some kind of... My kid's like, better than your girlfriend. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you're trying to say to them, like, 
you do this because I tell you to. Yeah, that's... Even though you don't want to, even though you're uncomfortable, even though you are close with the kids there, they are tr- they are asking to make memories. They're yes. not saying, I don't like this guy. He's weird. I mean, yeah, they are saying that. But like, I feel more comfortable. What they're saying is, I feel more comfortable... Mm-hmm. Away from these people. Away from these people. And there are people there that I want to spend my time with that Again, I like. I have had similar situations growing up in mm-hmm. a divorced family where you, yeah. I fucking loved hanging out with you and my actual dad's side of the family. And there were times I had to go to a step family's house. Now I understand. That's like a, but but to be fair, and I'm just being bluntly honest here. If anybody's listening and they're going to get upset, sorry. But I was never treated like real family to them. It was very clear that we were like that we were outsiders. We did get picked on. My sister would get made fun of like mercilessly there. It was mm-hmm. it was there was it was hard. Yeah. At certain points. And it wasn't by everybody. But there were older kids there. Again, that made us feel uncomfortable or older people. I, I don't know. There was just people yeah. there that would make us feel uncomfortable. And. We loved you guys. Like, it was more comfortable for us being with you. Yes. But so you had to leave the place. It was so upsetting every year being torn away. And be. It, I would be like, can we please? And it was like, no, you have to go see these people. And I was like, those people don't even like us. It's <laughs> yeah. very obvious a lot of the times that they don't even want us there. Right. So, like, so now that I have my child... um. For, we do have court ordered. There has never, ever, ever been a time where we have been like, it's my Thanksgiving. You don't get him. He goes. We do it as well as we can. That He hits every house. Is that difficult when he normally has to jump from six houses? Yeah, it sucks. But we try our hardest to make sure. And when we can't fit them all in, we ask him, yes. who would you rather go to? It's your choice. Because... It is. I want him to be able to spend time with people he enjoys, not people he's blood related to. That's not important. I want you to spend time with people you enjoy being around. Right. Check your ego. It's about. Check your fucking ego. Yeah. It is not about, oh, I I really want him. And and it's difficult for kids when they're not fully related to someone and these people have just been introduced into their lives to feel like it probably wasn't our step families, like people in their fault that we felt the way that we did. But like. You guys have known each other your whole fucking lives. We just right. came into the picture. Of course, we're not going to have the same bond that me and you yeah. had. But like, it was. it's just upsetting when I see that. It's personally very like triggering. triggering to me because I'm like, stop doing that to your kids because you're playing an ego tug of war with your ex. Right. That's annoying. <laughs> right. It pisses or me off. Or you're trying to... Um, prove something to your current partner what your boyfriend oh see they love you honey good Mm -hmm. job stay here and play house with me Mm -hmm. no take a picture i want to post it i hate it yeah it's very yucky understand that you right now and and maybe you're listening and if you are i hope that you understand why we're being harsh because i hope you can see that you're using your children in a way in a game that they don't want to be a part of right so like stop doing that now you are totally allowed to be bummed that they don't want to hang out with mm-hmm. you and your partner. Mm-hmm. You can totally feel like that fucking sucks. I wish that wasn't the case. Yeah. But you can't strong arm them into liking being around you. If anything, the more, that's you're going to push them away. The opposite. Your, your teen going in his bedroom, get used to that. Because let me tell you, I had a lot of, I, I didn't hate it in the early years. And the more it was like forced upon me, the more I hate, I hated it mm-hmm. towards the end because it was being like, you have to do this. And I would be like, I don't want to. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do this. Like, this is not. You no control. No, it was. Yeah. And it was uncomfortable. It was putting me in an uncomfortable position out of my control. And if anybody's listening to that and it upsets them, I'm sorry. It probably was nothing that you meant to do. But I just want to be real right now because they're, like you said, they're, these children, you're putting them in a situation that is not only potentially dangerous, but also is like making them uncomfortable for your own kind of vind- yeah, vindication <laughs> and like winning. Yes. And like that's that's these are children. They're human beings. Stop yeah. doing that. Quite literally, no one wins in that situation. No. Um, so on that happy ending. <laughs> I just really wanted to get us an asshole in there. <laughs> now that, Felt like we needed it. <laughs> now that we have just I'm made mad. this the most merry. We really turned this into a bah humbug type yes. shit right here. <laughs> no, I think it's good. I think it's good to talk about these things because as much as 
the world and the media wants to put on this facade that this is the this most is beautiful the most time of the year time of the year for it's a lot of people not. it's not for a lot of people it is forced relationships with people you don't really want to be around mm-hmm. or having to live through things that you don't want to go through and yep. like why why do i have to do i have to okay fine. this is us giving you permission to not force yourself to be in spaces where you're uncomfortable or the people around you if you can if they can't speak up for themselves do it for them check your people closest Mm -hmm. to you and see if they're being made to feel uncomfortable and um you know figure that out i'll tell you i know i said that like i made a decision on thanksgiving um for myself and maybe i didn't say that if i didn't i made a decision (laughs) on thanksgiving for myself um and it was one of the most freeing things I've yeah. ever experienced. Yeah. And um, right now I'm in a season of life where I am looking at my inner child. I'm looking at my 10-year-old self, my 4-year-old self, my 14-year-old self and saying, no one listened to you then. Yep. No one let you decide. What do you want to do? And yep. she's like, I don't want to fucking go. And I'm like, then we're not gone, then baby. You don't have to. We're staying right here. And understand that maybe now you get to make those decisions. I'm speaking again to these people with their kids. Maybe mm-hmm. now you get to make those decisions, but they will one day grow up. And then when you're sitting there wondering, like, why don't they want to come to my holidays or why don't they want to be around this family? It's because you forced them to for so long and you weren't listening when they were telling you what was wrong. Yes. So listen to your freaking people, man. Yep. That's all I got to say about it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, happy holidays, ha- hey, everyone. Merry, hey, Merry Christmas hope- and happy... Um, Merry Crimbone. <laughs> and all the... Happy, happy all of them. Happy I just know we're going to celebrate. <laughs> happy Honda days or whatever. <laughs> Merry Crimbus, happy... <laughs> Merry Chrysler, everybody. <laughs> Driving into the new year. Vroom, vroom. Beep. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh that was God. such a realistic crush. I was like, I felt like I was in one. I braced for impact. Wow. Sorry. Sorry. I really wanted to get us in that moment. Uh, and you did. Thank you God. sure fucking did. Wow. I, I got to get my anxiety <laughs> under control. Holy fuck. I don't know what that means for me. That's just always how I feel when it's a new year. New year, new me. And I'm scared of change, baby. <laughs> I think I think I started dissociating. So that sound really <laughs> sh- woke shook up. me back into my body. Um, also, uh. Next week, we're going to be doing our, you know, yearly recap. So I tune back those. in next week yeah. to see if anything we said last year made us feel weird. <laughs> or if we predicted anything or what the fuck we're thinking for next year. Oh, I okay. can't wait. Yeah. All right. Have a great one, everyone. We love you so much. We will see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye. Goodbye.